Broadway contract. Is that accurate? Yeah, there was um, you know some pretty good deals on the table um, that I had to turn down. Um, you know, I it, I took it to the last day. Uh, I worked out in Utah on the day of a decision with you know, the mindset of uh, trying to earn a job from them, and um, you know when those those deals were on the table, and uh, you know, there was a lot of um, excitement about being you know right in the middle of that second round. Um, so you know that's a tough thing to turn down, but you know, it, was, um, it was something that I'm very happy with the decision I made. And, um, you can't. Once you make the decision, you got to turn the page. And now the goal is, you know, win a national championship here and win a ton of games with, um, you know, a great group of guys and a team that I'm very, very confident in. I think there were some times last season where, like, it was obvious that this was a team going through some growing pains and that had a lot of young guys. What, like, what did you feel like as a team you guys took away from last season? Um, I think we learned, you know, ultimately how to win. Um, at the beginning of that year, you know, we would we would compete for the you know, stretches of the game. We would put together really good ten minutes and then a really good, you know, six minutes. And the, the, there was times in the middle where we'd, we'd give up huge runs and people would, teams would take over games uh, with more experience. But as the you know season went on, you know, we started. We were in close games. We were close at Indiana. We were close at home with Purdue. And then towards the end of the year, you know, we figured out how to finish those games. Uh, you know, we won the, the big games at Michigan State, home versus Wisconsin, at Northwestern. Um, you know, learning how to win is a, is a tough thing at this level. It comes so easily when you're in high school. You know, we had a lot of younger guys, a lot of really good players, but you know, you win pretty much every game you play when you're in high school. So when we get here, you know, winning takes another level. It takes a, it takes leadership. It takes you know, a lot of grit. And uh, you know, once we figured out how to do that, we can carry that into this year. And uh, you know, I think the hardest thing to do at this level of learning how to win and you know, once you accomplish that it's you know, staying when they can keep you moving to so kind of like what just Peyton said, we kind of figured out how to do little things, like whether that was on the defensive end, the rebound, or get down the transition, really locking in the scout. That's something that we really locked in on and kind of figured out towards the end of the year when we started winning those bigger games. But um, I feel like if we if we were to lock in more on those things and figure those out sooner, we could have made it in the But um, we're just going to take that to a whole different level this year. And, um, just look forward to it. Um, those are like the key takeaways that I think we really, really had last year. Question for both of you. Owen, of course, you were part of such an awesome freshman class last year. Peyton as now a senior looking back at the freshman class and your brother being a part of it. What, ex what excites you the most about the overall class from top to bottom? The old, like my overall class? Yeah, your overall class. I, yeah, I feel like we just have a, a lot of everything. Like, um, with Barat and Price, um, obviously guys that can shoot the ball, but um, I feel like like Lodge, me and Lodge, like we can shoot, them, like, we can play make, like Brock and Price, they play make, like we kind of have everything top to bottom that you would need um, in a basketball class. And, um, I just feel like overall, like it's just a great group. Um, we were really connected. Um, we, were, we were always hanging out with each other in the dorms and everything, so we kind of were able to build that connection and kind of spread it on the team. Um, but from top to bottom, I think that we have a really complete class. My class, so um, just a lot of competitive, a lot of competitiveness um, in whatever we do. So I feel like that really shows the sport. Some of these teams here have brand new teams. I mean, I don't know how many new guys Illinois has, and on down the line, uh, you have a minimum of those. How does that work for you? What what what's the benefits of basically keeping a group together? I think it's just, it just gets a continue to build on the bonds we've already had, like the, like the, like the connections we share. Um, like I was able to play with Brock for four years, and you kind of get to see that connection. Um, and that I feel like kind of spreads when you have guys stay for a long period of time. Like you get to build, uh, learn the ins and outs of each other's game, and um, you don't have to like keep like learning new uh, guys and build those new bonds. Like you kind of get to build upon what's already there, um, build upon that like foundation. So. Um, I just think it's a, it's a great way to just continue to build on and off the court. Yeah, well, right, 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 right with what you said, you know, with, with all these teams getting constant roster turnover, you don't get to build on anything from the previous year. It's, it's basically like a do or die every single year with each team. Um, you know, the way that we finished last year, if there would have been a new team this year, then it would have been 
what we did at the end of last year would have been about nothing. It would have just been, you know, an NIT team that was close but didn't get there. But now, you know, we can build on that success that we had last year. You know, everyone remembers what that felt like. Everyone remembers what the losing felt like early in the year. So, you know, we, we know how to win now. We, we can build on that. We can build on the relationships we built on the on-court chemistry and, uh, you know, really take that into this year, which